Hey Landon, where's the new Shift Heads video? Haven't seen you in a while. What's going on with Shift Heads? How's the excursion? What are you doing with the F-150? I've been busy, okay? Jesus. Yes, I've been busy, super busy at work. Uh, this last winter storm that we had, it knocked out quite a few refineries down in Texas and, and we've just been trying to play catch up ever since. But yes, I've been at work, busier than hell, working six days a week, it's been tough, but today, finally got a day off to just kind of do whatever the heck I want to do without any kids. So, I went to the stores, got a few things, and well, let's see what we got here. I got a heat gun down there, I got some trim removal tools, I got a shorty little antenna and some fishing line. But Landon, what does all of that have in common? So what are we doing today? Well, I got the F-150 in the driveway. And for those of you that know me, I'm not a huge fan of chrome. And really the only thing that's chrome on this truck are the tail lights, the headlights, lug nuts, and those handles on my toolbox, which there's not much I can do about those. And these little badges. And I don't like them. Oh yeah, I forgot to tell you all about the toolbox. Funny story, was uh, making a video on installing this bad boy and uh, turns out the final product was not as desired. Um, just to give you an idea of what it was, uh, watch this. So what I ended up doing was I logged on to the incredible edible internet and I bought a set of those to black these out. Make them match the rest of the truck. Make it look even more like a basic bare bones trim XL. Yeah, that's gonna be awesome. So what I'm trying to do is the fishing line, there's an adhesive that holds these on, on top of these little clips in the back. So what the fishing line is gonna kind of strip away the adhesive without scratching the paint. And I'll use the heat gun to soften it up to help out a lot. And gotta be really careful because these aluminum panels, they're really thin and I don't wanna, you know, bend them or anything. And yeah, the uh, the antenna, yeah, it's, it's not related really to anything. I just, the, the antenna that's on the truck is kind of bent. And it, yeah, it just looks weird. It's tall, I don't like it. So we'll throw on the shorty and we'll get that going. Let's see what I gotta do with this. Oh, and for those of you that are probably wondering, no, this isn't some sort of April Fool's video joke thing. I'm not really into that kind of crap. Um, unless I do something stupid, then we might make it an April Fool's video. Uh, so stay tuned. And you know, now that I think about it, this is probably the first time I've ever touched fishing line in... God, I can't remember the last time I used fishing line for anything, really. I think the key here is to Keep it moving, keep it nice and hot. That way it slices through easier. Oh, that may be a problem. <laughs> Got some gloves to help protect the fingers. The only problem is they can't grip the line. I can't grip it. When in doubt, QC. Hey! Well, that's useless now. Hope I didn't want to put it back on. Now I gotta get all of this old residual off. Well, we got most of it, but I'm gonna want to get all of that. So let me see if I got some WD-40 somewhere. All right, so we got a good amount of it off. That's... Oh no. No. That's in the wrong spot. Unless I got the wrong one, wrong side. Uh, yeah, I got the wrong side. If you buy these from Amazon, there is a right and a left, just, just so you know. Glad I checked that first before I started freaking out, so. Oh buddy. Oh, this is a satis satisfying sound. Listen. Oh, yeah. Mm. yeah. 
<laughs> oh, buddy. Oh, yeah. That looks so good. Against that gray. <laughs> oh, now to do the other side. And the tailgate's going to be a lot easier. Tailgate doesn't have any clips on these letters, but it's got a plastic thing to help them get it lined up right. So that ought to be fun. Anyway, time lapse time. For those of you wondering, yes, my thumbs are going to be sore in the morning. I've already got a blister on this one. See? Blister. I got blisters on my fingers! Worth it! Oh, yeah, why am I using the heat gun? Because my extension cord doesn't reach out here and I'm too lazy to turn the truck around. And you know, as, as much as I love the dealership that sold me the truck, which is Cummins Ford in Weatherford, um, I, I, it doesn't match now. So it's gotta go. Well, now I've got another problem. That looks pretty good, just that. Anyway. I'm gonna let y'all figure out where I should put that emblem back here. Where should I put it? I mean, should I put it here where it was? So that way it looks kind of somewhat factory. Should I put it down here so it gives it kind of like a customized look or should I just leave it alone? Here's your badge. Badges? We don't need no stinking badges! Oh no! <laughs> I'm kind of liking the look of that. Just clean, no F-150, none of that. Ah. All right, so we got this side all said and done. Now let's tackle this bent antenna, shall we? Boom, yeah, that looks good. I didn't really need this. I mean, I never listened to the actual radio inside of this thing. It's either XM or Spotify, so. I just wanted it to look cool. I really don't care if it works or not. So, but yeah. All right. So I guess it's time for me to boil down to the more important stuff now that the fun stuff is over. Uh, and I got a hot date with my wife later today for her lunch break, so time to use my new toy, which is this shop vac that I've been wanting to buy for a while, and just clean up the inside of the truck. So, yeah, I'll get to that. Hot damn, this thing sucks. So yeah, you know what? I think I'll leave it up to you guys. Comment on where I should put the, the rear badge. Should I set it here? Where it was kind of keep a factory look so i set it down here kind of give it a custom look or just leave it off i kind of like the way it looks now with it oh and funny story um i was told by somebody to try and do these badges when it's warm out so that way it softens up the stuff but you know i got this heat gun <laughs> funny story about this heat gun i acquired this way back in the day when my uncle jesse passed away and oh my god he loved this he was he's an old hot rodder guy and i didn't even know if it worked up until now so it worked thankfully thank god thank you uncle jesse it was awesome of you to leave me your tool which i gathered many of them <laughs> thank you again and yeah so let me know what you guys think thanks for watching catch you next time